Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. See a double cluster of stars beloved by ancient Chinese emperors, plus Venus dazzles before dawn. Hey there, Stargazers, I'm Chris Trigg. Although we usually talk about very bright, easy to find, obvious objects in the night sky on Stargazer, every once in a while, we like to entice you to look for less bright and less obvious objects, which have hidden beauty. And such is the case this week, because I'm going to show you two tiny clouds which have been seen and admired by hundreds of generations, and which were written about as far back as the times of Sun Khan, the fourth reigning monarch of the Sai dynasty of ancient China, over 4,000 years ago in the early third millennium BC. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our skies set up for the end of November and early December between 8 and 10 p.m. Facing north, where you'll see five bright stars, which, if connected by lines, trace out a slightly squashed out capital letter M. This is the constellation named for the ancient queen of Ethiopia, Cassiopeia. And just off to her right is a rather freeform shape of stars, which, if connected by lines, would look something like this, and which were named for the ancient hero of Greek mythology, Perseus. Now, off to the right of Perseus is perhaps the most famous cluster of stars known, and which I speak about frequently. It's easily seen if there's no bright moonlight, and it's called the Pleiades, although most people refer to it as the Seven Sisters. But there are two dimmer clusters of stars to which most people pay little attention because they're not nearly as bright, and I suggest you look for them when there's no bright moon out. Simply look between Cassiopeia and Perseus, and they'll look like two tiny faint clouds. And the farther you are away from city lights, the brighter they'll appear. If you look at them through binoculars or a small telescope, you'll see that there are dozens of stars in each cluster, looking very much like the Seven Sisters. In fact, they're the same kind of cluster as the Seven Sisters. The only reason they look different to the naked eye is that they're almost 20 times farther away, about 7,500 light years away, compared to the 400 light years distance of the Pleiades. This group is simply called the double cluster in Perseus, and there are at least 300 to 400 stars in each cluster, many of which are great blazing supergiants of almost unimaginable brilliance, thousands of times larger than our own sun. Astronomy writer Stephen J. O'Meara penned one of the best descriptions I've ever read. Quote, this pair of stellar islands spans about one and a half moon diameters, and a small telescope will reveal suns piled like rubies and diamonds on black velvet, and strings of stars stretched between the couplet like arms entwining them in an eternal embrace. How poetic. With an estimated age of only a few million years, these are two of the youngest open clusters known, and we're racing toward them at the incredible speed of 26 miles per second. So some dark night this November and December, go outside between the hours of 8 and 10 p.m., face north, and look first for Cassiopeia, then for Perseus, and right between them, a wonderful double cluster of stars whose light left them over 7,500 years ago which means that we see them as they existed almost eight millennia ago. For you early birds, Venus is putting on quite a show in the southeast before dawn, and she's about as bright as she can get, reaching her brightest for this go around in early December. Venus has also been getting higher every morning, but this climbing and brightening is about to come to an end as Venus starts her long, slow curve back towards the sun. Venus orbits closer to the sun than we do, so her orbit never lets her get too far away from the sun in the sky. 46 degrees is about as far as she ever gets. Venus will also dim slightly as she moves farther away from us. At the beginning of December, Venus is about 37 million miles away from Earth, but by the end of the month, she has receded about 20 million miles, and her light takes almost two minutes longer to get here. So catch Venus now at her brightest. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.